Hi there, and welcome to this episode of Consciousness Fucking Empowerment. Here, we talk about manifesting your fucking dreams. We talk about self-validation, living from the in out, not from the out in. And having zero fear, okay? Zero fear. It's very possible, okay? Of course, we have to work to get all the bad programming out of our fucking system and just raising our vibration because our perspective, again, in out, creates our physical reality. The way we see the world. Now, this is how you have to think to allow yourself to manifest anything you fucking want. Because if you don't, someone's gonna come and say, hey man, you can't do that. You'll be all right, I can't. They told me I can't. Friend, family member, society, anybody. And we have self validation, internal validation. You know the law of assumption, the law of attraction, the laws of the universe. You're set for success. Okay, so before we get started, uh, I'm, I'm going to go over what we're going to do and some questions that you need to ask yourself. So I'm going to talk about Neville Goddard's book, The Power of, of Awareness. And the chapter is on faith. Okay, I forget the number of the chapter. I think it's 24. 25, okay, for sure. Faith, okay. So it's a good topic. It was tough for me to uh, digest it, but I'm going to share it with you in simple terms. Now, next, ask yourself, are you ready to learn and apply? If you're not ready to learn, be open-minded. Metaphorically speaking, Step out the door. If you're ready, take one step forward, metaphorically speaking. All right, so keep watching. Two, be ready to be the highest version of yourself and do whatever it takes. This means doing what your heart actually is calling you to do, okay? No fear. If some fear comes up, so what? Step into it, okay? Face the fear. When you face what you fear, the fear goes away. Okay, these are sayings that, you know, that help with um, working with those um, beliefs. It's all belief, man. Look around you. You're safe. Everything, you're good, okay? Even if you were at a... At a, in a if you, even if you are in a bad situation right now, just look around. You're safe. You can watch this video, okay? You're watching this video. You're safe, Okay? And just affirm to yourself, I am fearless, okay? Because sometimes we want to do something and then we just get like a little like triggered, you know? Just, I'm fearless, okay? I believe I have no fear. And Look around. I have no fear. I have no fear. I got that from Ariana. She's a baddie. She's also, she also does law of attraction stuff, okay? Law of assumption stuff. So now I digress uh, because I love women. That's why I always bring that up uh, about beauty, okay? Beauty. Beautiful things, you know, art. Hence, I have this art right here. Um, so let's get started. Faith, okay? What is faith? When it comes to faith in the Bible and what Neville Goddard is talking about, he's talking about feeling the wish fulfilled. Faith is feeling the wish fulfilled, okay? I wrote this two years ago in 2021. Wait, that's three years ago. August 27, 2021. Faith is the law of assumption. When you assume the consciousness of your desire, it is clear. Okay. Faith does not question. Faith knows. Okay. Faith doesn't almost feel like you're rich. 
Faith doesn't almost feel like you're healthy. Faith doesn't almost feel like you're in a loving relationship. Faith, faith doesn't almost feel like you're successful. You've assumed the state, okay? That's why it's very important to ask yourself, how do I feel now that I have this? And absorb it and sit in that feeling, okay? Sit in the fucking feeling. All right? It's very important. Very, very important. Uh, so I want to share what he says about this. Uh, um, he's, uh, I want to share a little bit of... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to share some of his quotes, okay? He's but he's I'm gonna let you know he's explaining a quote. Okay, I'm not gonna tell you the quote right now because you may not understand it It's it's a Bible term and Bible the Bible was written a long time ago So you really need to understand what the context is and and what the meaning of the Bible is Okay, most people don't read the fucking Bible. I was fortunate because I was locked up Okay, I was locked up and I had told myself God I want to be good Goodness is in is in the Bible Okay, righteousness is in the Bible. Righteousness is meaning going after what your heart desires, you know, and being for life, not not the contrary. Okay, life, love, and beauty. And I was attracted to spiritual books like the Bible, and I read it. Okay, I didn't want to be the old person that I was that sent me to prison. Okay, if you went to prison, you did something. Okay, you did something. You took yourself there. Okay, willingly. All right. Faith, quote, faith is the awareness of the reality of that which you assume. A conviction of the reality of things which you do not see. The mental perception of the reality of the invisible. Okay, I'm going to repeat that again. Faith is the awareness of the reality of of that which you assume. A conviction of the reality of things which you do not see. The mental perception of the reality of the invisible. Consequently, it is obvious that a lack of faith means disbelief in the existence of that which you desire. Inasmuch as that which you experience is the faithful reproduction of your state of consciousness, Lack of faith will mean perpetual failure in any conscious use of the law of assumption. Okay, now I'm going to go over the quote. All right. I love this one. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. And I wrote this in my notes. Okay. Neville Goddard says, the very reason of the law of assumption is contained in this quotation. Things hoped for when you desire, it's kind of like a desire. Oh, I would like that. It's kind of like, hope is kind of like desire. Hope is a higher calling telling you that it is fucking possible for you. I, this reminds me of my my ex from high from high school. Oh my god! Like the my heart would be like, oh my god, she's so fine, she's so beautiful. That's a sign. Hey, she's for you. <laughs> and I just, you know, logically, I, I I did what I could, you know, talk to her, and I didn't assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. But I, you know, you can still do logical things. You know, one plus one equals two. Or A plus B equals, A, you know, C. You can still do things that are going to help you. you know, okay, if I boil this water, it's going to get boiled, right? You believe in it. You believe it's possible. Okay, so that's why I hope is good. Okay. Now, I'm going to quote what Neville said. Quote, if there were not a deep-seated awareness that that which you hope for has substance that was, and was possible of attainment, it would be impossible to assume the consciousness of being or having it. Okay, so hope is kind of preceding you of possibly having it. It is the fact that creation is finished and everything exists that stirs you to hope. And hope, in turn, implies expectation. And without expectation of success, it would be impossible to use consciously 
the law of assumption, the law of assumption. Evidence is a sign of actuality. Okay. I didn't quite get that. Evidence is a sign of actuality. Evidence is a sign of actuality. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope. Hope becomes the evidence of um, actuality. If there's a desire, if there's hope, right? That means there's expectation. That's the evidence of actuality. Okay, hope. Um, desire, expectation, hope and desire turns into expectation. So that's evidence of actuality. Okay. It's evidence that's there. Something is there. Okay. Cause it's, it's real. Your feelings are real. They're a fucking real thing. Okay. It's just, it's a, it's a no thing. It's not or like something like, oh, you can feel it in you. You're vibrating it. So it is a thing because it's it's in you. It's in every uh, it's in every cell. It's a vibration in your cell. So it is a thing. Okay. It is a thing. <sighs> That's deep, man. That's deep. And now I want to share this part also. Um, quote. It is just as though that which you desire is telling you that it will not be yours until you turn from being faithless and perverse to righteousness. As already stated, righteousness is the consciousness of already being what you want to be. Okay. Faith does not question. Faith knows. Okay. Now I'm going to go over what, what perverse means. Okay, perverse, quote, perverse means turn the wrong way. In other words, the consciousness of not being what you want to be. To be faithless, that is, to disbelieve in the reality of that which you assume is to be perverse. To be faithless, that is, to believe in the reality of that which you assume is to be perverse. To be faithless, that is, to disbelieve in the reality of that which you assume is to be perverse. Yeah. And you know, and faith is feeling the wish fulfilled. I'm going to go again. Faith is the awareness of the reality of that which you assume. So being faithless is, is not assuming the feeling of your desire. You desire it, but you're not, you're not assuming that you have it. So that's being faithless and that's being perverse. Going in the opposite. Okay. Not following your true heart. Not being the highest version of yourself. Right here. In the Kabbalah, I read... I have it over here. I don't want to move, but um, the Zohar, it says you can't really choose your desire. It's you and God together in a conversation. Okay. That's for you. The God and you are like, okay, we've agreed that this is something that I desire and that I like. Okay. Now it is up to you to assume that feeling of that wish fulfilled to Create it on the physical plane because you have it on the spiritual, on the mental, mental and spiritual. Okay, mental and spiritual. You have it. It's yours through the hope and through the desire. Okay. Next is expectation. Okay. Then assume. Then when you've assumed it, it it's yours already. Like it says, quote, faith does not question. Faith knows. It must be natural to you. It has, it has to be natural. Of course I'm rich. Evidence of things not seen. That's your faith. Evidence of things not seen. Maybe it hasn't manifested yet. Okay. Maybe uh, your arm still can go up for health. You know, of course my arm is strong and healthy. Of course my arm heals itself. Of course. Of course I'm strong and healthy and, and have vitality. Good health. Of course. Right. So it's best to do this in a relaxed state, to be in relaxed because it's hard to do it in um, when you know if, if your arm or your leg something or something hurts, it's pretty hard to feel relaxed in, in that in that state. That's where medicine does come in to help. Okay, they all have a purpose. Everything has a good purpose. You know, everything is good. You just see the good in it. 
don't have peeves because those I was, I was listening to Brendan Wood, uh, Brendan Wood manifestation. He talked about how Abdullah, he shared a story about Abdullah drinking, you know, and like eating candy or like sweets, right? And like a dinner, like, man, this guy eats quote unquote, we would think unhealthy, but like he would, he told Neville Goddard, Hey man, it's because he has these negative beliefs about this. If you have the negative beliefs about this, you can have negative results about it. You get what I'm saying? Okay. And everything is within. Everything is within. Okay. Happiness and out there. If you always put happiness out there, you'll never have it because it'll just keep fleeting. The the physical fleets, it changes. Even when we stay, we change our con consciousness, it, it changes. We have to let it go to create a new. That's why gratitude, meditation, working out, raising your vibration, even just standing up. I think... Um, What's his name? What's his face? Fucking Tony Robbins. He goes, all right, get up, everybody. Da, 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 da. But he knows he's changing your emotional state. Okay. And when you're, and you, when you're positive, you, you see the world positive. You have more energy. You're not lethargic. You're full of life, full of energy, vitality versus the opposite, which is le being lethargic, lazy, you know, maybe having negative thoughts about killing yourself. Um, because that's where the vibration's going. That's where the vibration is at. All right. Now, um, faith. Okay. Faith. And here's the definition of faith in the dictionary. He shares it with us. He shares us the, the definition. The dictionary defines faith as quote the ascent of the mind or understanding to the truth the ascent of the mind or understanding to the truth unwavering adherence to principle so changing the mind ascent of the mind the elevation of the mind or understanding the truth unwavering adherence to the to principle which is the law it might as well say he says that it might as well said the law of assumption quote so pertinent that they might well have been written with the law of assumption in mind faith is feeling your wish fulfilled that's the evidence of things unseen because when you're visualizing it it hasn't manifested physically. Okay. And it's a vibration. Assuming the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Okay. Is a vibration. Okay. You don't see Wi-Fi waves. You don't see radio waves. Your emotional waves. You don't see them. But you can feel them. That's why that's when somebody comes into a room. You can. You can. You can, you can feel their vibration. Okay. Faith is the awareness of the reality of that which you assume. Okay. It's your state of consciousness. That one was a difficult chapter. Okay, that was a difficult chapter. So I like reading it. Come and read it. Gotta read it again. Faith is the awareness of the reality of that which you assume. And being perverse, <laughs> being perverse is not assuming, not feeling the reality of your, of your wish. Okay. Not feeling the reality of it. And you can only feel the reality of it by being in that state of consciousness. Okay. There's different states of consciousness. That's why you've manifested things that you really, that you're really good at. And you have certain beliefs about those. Like, of course, it's not, that feels natural to you. If you manifested like good grades in school, like, of course I'm smart. I just study, of course. Same with fitness, somebody who's in shape, of course I'm in shape. 
I'll just go do 30 minutes of cardio every day. And of course, you know, or, or money. Of course, I earn hella money. It comes to me passively all the time, online. Of course. Yeah, I've already made those things, you know. I'm already working on those things what, or what have you, right? But it's always important to see the end and feel the feelings of it. The consciousness, because the vibration you're feeling, that is your state of consciousness. Okay, that is your state of consciousness. Your I am, I am X. I am healthy, I am rich, I am successful, I am in a loving relationship. Okay, those are your I am's. And you're feeling them. Okay. Now, with the law of assumption, I want to share a practice that I learned from Elmer uh, Locker Jr. Okay. It's, uh, there's no visualizing in this. Okay. It's just feeling. It's just getting into the vibration of it. Okay. Most of the time when you ask yourself questions, they will just pop up into your mind. Okay. So here it is. I understand this because I, I've done this. I've done this before. Understanding the law, I do it. Okay. So you think of your desire. Okay. You can write this out if you have uh, pen and paper, whatever you like. If you like to say things, I like to say and visualize. If you, you like to write, do it on a piece of paper. What do you want? Okay. I want to earn this amount of money. Okay. This is just this is just understanding what we do want. Okay. If you don't know what you want. What do you not want? Like, hey, I don't want to live like this. I don't want to live like this. Because when I was in prison, I knew I didn't want to live like that anymore. Because all the shit that I was doing took me there. So if you don't know what you want, then you know what you do want. Now, now that you have that, if you don't pause this, write that down, okay? And you say, I want to earn this amount of money, okay? So go ahead and say it. Or write it down. All right. And if you want to write another one, go ahead. I'll put, just pause this, all right? And then write two, three, maybe five. <clears throat> all right. Now, contemplate each one, just one at a time. Contemplate each one, okay? And tell yourself, I have this already, okay? I have it, okay, I have it now. And ask yourself, how do I feel? Because I was thinking about what I wanted, right? How? And that's why I got the smile. How... Do I feel now that I have it? How do I feel now that I have it? I'm saying like that I'm earning this or I have, I'm in this loving relationship or I'm healthy. How do I feel? Okay, you have the feeling right now. Write it out or say it out loud. I feel whatever it is. Happy, relieved, blessed, etc. Usually for me, it's always a relief and a mixture with another thing like, ah. Oh, I'm relieved and excited, enthusiastic, right? Something like that. Constant, constant changing of our vibration, okay? That's what it is. That's what we do when we're manifesting more and more and more and more. Because once we hit something, we have to go to another one, okay? Once we manifest something, we go on to another one. We go on next, next, all right? Keep on moving. Like Thomas Troward writes um, through his studies, my mind is a center of divine operation. The divine operation is always for expansion and fuller expression. All right, till next time, uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment below anything you want me to explain more or share about. And share this with somebody that came up in your mind. Who came into your mind? Share it, share, share it with them. Share it with somebody you fucking love. I love you. Till next time. Peace.